With current technology and best strategies, do we totally need chatting practice? It seems that if one follows your system, chatting practice needs can be dramatically reduced for improvement purposes. Of course, no one is dumb enough to think chatting doesn't offer great benefits, but I'm speaking of being highly dependent on doing chatting practice. For example, Benny Lewis, Benny, uh, Lewis was coming up 2013-ish. He majorly promoted paying for chatting practice in order to learn fast. It seems that with your methods, one doesn't totally need another person to move fast. I uh, hope you'll consider a video on this. Uh, yeah, of course, it's a good question. And you're right. And I tell, I'm going to tell you why. Talking to people always helps, especially with confidence for those who are not very confident in the language skills. If you try to talk to people all the time, you improve at speaking to people, right? But it's a very limited uh, activity as well. If you mostly learn by talking to people, you will not improve much. You get good at basic interactions and that's it. I've lived abroad quite a while. I've traveled quite a while. I've gone to lots and lots of meetups, language exchanges, things like that. You name it. And you and, and one thing you'll see a lot is people who people who go to those as the main language learning method, yeah? Just people who move to Germany, for example, a lot of uh, Eastern Europeans, Middle Easterners, and so on. Uh, you just show up to the meetups again and again and again every day uh, to try to talk to people. And the problem is you end up, hey, what's your name? Where are you from? I'm from this place. I, how long do you live in Germany? Blah, blah, blah. And, and it's the same conversation over and over again. Also, the same conversation over and over again with people who are also learning the language. So you're not working on your pronunciation, you're making lots of mistakes and no one's correcting you. Uh, you're using very limited vocabulary over and over again. So it helps you get decent at small talk and that's it. While if you, like you say here, the modern technology, if you have the right plan, you can improve much faster. Now, for things like ChatGPT, when all those AI experts make those videos of AI just killed the language learning, blah, 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 and they teach you, this way I can have a conversation with ChatGPT. No, that's stupid. Don't do that. Those people know nothing about uh, language learning. They're just people who, the content creators, they wanted to uh, make a video about they wanted to make a bunch of videos about something that's trendy and now it's AI. So let's find out what, I guess they used AI as well. To, okay, let's get some ideas on what I can do with AI and then make some videos on it. And but they haven't really spent any time learning languages or well, maybe they used Duolingo or something like that, but they haven't really uh, done so much about language learning, let's say. So they give you solutions like that that are not really all that effective. If you try to have a conversation with ChatGPT in whatever language, you'll end up having the same conversation you would have with those guys in the meetup. Yeah, same basic conversation for the most part. AI is mostly for content creation and then for feedback. For content creation, to learn massive amounts of vocabulary and grammar in context with lots of sentences, you can get Example sentences for any vocabulary list quickly, and then you can get the translation and you can do retrieval practice translating into the target language and get and getting the feedback. So you're constantly saying it aloud, getting feedback, saying it aloud again, getting feedback. You can also create content for any situation you want to, anything you want to talk about, you can write sentences fast. Lots of it. Lots of content for any lots of sentences for any conversation, situation. It's great for language island creation. So yes, technology has made uh, conversation practice relatively obsolete. It's fun. I enjoy talking to people, but it's not a learning method, or at least not an effective one. Um, it's the result. It's what you get to enjoy once you've 
but once, once you've practiced enough and you're good at speaking, yeah. Um, technology is good for content creation and and then for feedback. So yeah, memorize the vocabulary, create uh, create lists, use retrieval practice. It's also good for listening practice with the same sentences because you can use text to speech to listen to your own sentences in the language. So yeah, technology is great for that. But prepare your own sentences, everything you want to say, and learn it with all these exercises, which well, these exercises, they all existed before technology, right? You could just take text and translate it into the language. Of course, it was much more difficult to do, uh, time consuming, much more limited because you couldn't create your own sentences. Now technology has made it all much, uh, much more efficient and easier. So yeah, use all these exercises with technology, uh, but don't do don't use ChatGPT to uh, simulate a conversation or anything like that. That's a waste of time, I think. Uh, but yes, uh, you don't really need to to respond to your uh, yeah your your comment. No, you don't need to have conversation practice with a native speaker because for the most part it's going to be even if you hire someone and you do face-to-face -face time once a week or twice a week it's going to be more efficient to learn more sentences on your own native speaker will be helpful to uh, find pronunciation mistakes you're making to point out what, which mistakes you're making and give you feedback and pronunciation and things like that that'll be useful but just for chatting, um, you're not talking about the same things again and again. So preparing a specific topic and learning lots of sentences, much more effective, much more efficient use of your time. Uh, Benny Lewis, yeah, he's quite old. Uh, not quite old, but like way older than me, right? He's well, in his 40s now. Um, maybe he's not, I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know, for me, it's just... Uh, he, he he became famous like a while ago, so I assume he's older. Uh, but yeah, it's mostly just learn the, his method was mostly learn the basics and then talk to people, which is okay if you want to become conversational, but you need more than that for fluency. Um, but yeah, technology, great. Uh, you don't need teachers, classes, or conversation partners.